All right, quick update on Bitcoin. So the breakdown is here. If you're a seasoned veteran of my channel, this should come as absolutely no surprise to you. It looks like this fractal that we were talking about almost played out to the teeth. We were obviously talking about this massive capitulation coming very, very soon. In the previous fractal, we actually formed an M pattern before the breakdown, uh, but this is just showing the extreme weakness in the market right now. Uh, we did not even have enough energy to bounce back to the upside, you know, solidify a lower high at 21,000 and break down. It looks like we're coming right for the floorboards right now and getting ready to capitulate. So if we do look, I'm going to talk about the volume in a second because the volume coming in is absolutely dire. Uh, but if we do look at the daily time frame, once again, as of no surprise, if you are a veteran of my channel, you should have seen this coming. Uh, you would have heard me talk about this. The MACD is massively heading down. The money flow indicates it is heavily overextended right now on the daily time frame. There is so much more momentum, so much more selling volume. That can, that can come in because retail money just absolutely flew into this when we did bounce up to 22,000. The market sentiment was exactly the same as 32,000. We've been calling these bull traps time after time after time again. Let's head over to the lower time frames now. Over on the four hourly time frame, we actually had a very, very minor bounce. Uh, and if I show you this on the daily time frame, you can see, yes, we were talking about this fractal fake out of the asymmetrical triangle. You can draw it a different way and you can draw it different over on here as well. You can draw this as a bear flag. And we are currently taking out the floorboards of that bear flag. Now, if we do head over, let me show you on a cleaner chart so you can kind of just see this a little bit easier. But, you know, no matter what the line on the top is, this would be the floor of the bear flag and you're absolutely landsliding beneath this i'll show you the volume once again in just one moment if we do head over to the four hourly time frame uh there is a large amount of um, momentum coming in over on the macd this is just absolutely landsliding through the floorboards now uh, the money flow indicator on the lower time frames is still very beat down but nonetheless the higher time frames is super overextended over on the squeeze momentum indicator we had a four we had four hours worth of momentum subsiding as we did have a couple of bounces or we had you know one bounce that lasted about eight hours over on the uh, ascending level of support that was from this bull flag and we've completely taken out the floor from this it's very very rare that you see the squeeze bomb have a massive downtrend have what have like a one uh, one candles worth on the four hourly time frame one candles worth of momentum shift and then just a straight slap back down uh, you know as you can see if we do scroll through this you know sometimes this happens and when it does you are getting re ready for a massive massive capitulation back down because most of the time it takes a lot of momentum to, to move the squeeze mum so the, the fact is you know looking at this on the four hour we can clearly see we have enough momentum we have enough strength to completely take bitcoin down to lower price targets uh, i'm going to get this video out as quickly as i can so i'm not going to run through uh why i have all of these different price targets once again if you're a veteran of my channel you will know all of my price targets if you're new to the channel warm welcome i recommend you go and check out my macro videos uh, but my price targets in the immediate short term, without showing you all the charts for them, 18,500 is the next level down on the CME futures. Yes, we did break below 18K, but we did it on the weekend. So we did not fill the gap over on the actual CME futures. Uh, so 18,500, that's the next leg down. The next level down from the downside from there would be 16,700. That is where the 300 EMA resides. And then beneath then, 14,000 is backed up uh, between 14 and 12,000. And there's a lot of confluence backed up by Fibonacci's, Elliott Wave Theory, and a bunch of other things that, like I said, I won't get into for the sake of this video. But I'm getting this video out as quick as I can. The breakdown is here. There is a lot of momentum coming in. Let's wrap up the video talking about the volume. Let's start off over on Bitstamp. We have... 1,000 Bitcoin sold over on Bitstamp, nothing crazy. Let's head over to some other major exchanges and see what's going on. Over on Kraken, 2.8k Bitcoin sold. This is where we're going to get into the big dogs. Heading over to Coinbase on the daily time frame, almost 17,000 Bitcoin sold. And, you know, if we head over to the one hourly time frame, you'll see that a lot of this is coming in the past hour, in the past four hours or so. Let's head over to Binance. Over on Binance, 50,000 Bitcoin sold on Binance alone. Now, let's see, do we have any other exchanges? So we've got the index, Binance, we already talked about. Bitfinex, Bitfinex, no volume data. Um, oh, okay, we're on the shorts, that's why. This is the longs. 
Bitcoin over on Binance. We already talked about this. This is a Bitcoin pair. Uh, Bybit, here we go. This is probably going to be a big one. 157,000 Bitcoin sold. So collectively, looking at Binance, looking at coin, well, let's scrap that. Look at just Bybit and Binance alone. There's over 200,000 Bitcoin sold on just these two exchanges. And then as we go up, it's just going to be the same ones we already talked about. So well over 200,000 Bitcoin being sold. And we're just cascading. We took out the floorboards once again. If you are a veteran of the channel, this should have come to absolutely no surprise of you. Uh, we've been talking about these bull traps time after time after time again. And because of the amount of retail money that flew into this dip, we are going to experience a nasty leg back to the downside very, very soon. Let's see if we bounce tomorrow because we do have the, uh, the CPI meeting. I find it more likely now that we're just going to get continuation. So let's see what happens. Next leg to the downside is here, my friends. That's all I've got. And as always, cowboy out. Peace.